Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent, Cody's Path. That's right, y'all. We're back playing Cody's Path. I am very excited to jump right back into it because it picks up right where we left off with Cassian throwing out that giant ball of energy and it exploding everywhere and throwing him back against the wall. So anyway, y'all, sit right back and enjoy as entertaining and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up and let's go. All right. <clears throat> uh, <sighs> It's so cold. Where, where am I? You held your arms into a shiver, trying to stave off the cold of the void. You couldn't feel your limbs at all. Am, am I... am I dead? Is this it? Is this how it ends? Uh, I guess I'm not a hero material. I guess I'm not hero material after all. Compose yourself, child. You are still with this world. Well, uh, who are you? Fret not. I am one that you can trust. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Huh. All right, I trust you. What is happening to me right now? It appears to me that with the help of your friend, you've unlocked your inner harmony. H harmony? Wait, does this mean I, I can do magic now, like Alex said? Indeed. I can even sense the resounding melodies echoing through your core as we speak. This feat alone is already a big step in your journey as a hero, Cassian. Whoa, that's incredible! Well, even though I literally blasted myself, don't be so harsh on yourself, child. Mistakes happen to the best of us. What's more, you're still but a little bud, after all. A bud that will grow into a big and strong tree with enough care and nourishment. And a tree whose reach would be broad enough to shelter the whole forest. A big tree? L l like the Akai? You're not making any sense. In time, child. For now, take care of yourself. I shall be there with you soon enough. W wait! You slowly opened your eyes to your dorm room. Cuddy was there by your side. The others were too, somewhere around the place. Ow, my head! You held your throbbing head as you slowly sat up in bed. <sighs> One of these days, all I want is just a good night's sleep with nothing messing with my head. Guys, look, he's awake! Hey, Cassian! Well, you're finally awake. Really took your sweet time, huh? But hey! Ow! Easy now, Cassie. You must still be in a lot of pain. Yeah. Is he going to be alright, Max? Yeah. Yeah, is he? You said something about complications while you did your thing. I still don't really understand it. Complications? Huh. I believe what I said at the time was some complicated readings from his brainwaves while he was out cold. But as you can see, he's still breathing and he'll be just fine. So stop worrying so much. Ugh, how long have I been out for? At least 12 hours, I think. It's 8 in the morning right now. That long? Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Don't be, Cassian. Just try to take it easy for now. Here. Cody came closer and handed you a warm bowl. I made some herbal soup to help you with your recovery. Uh, Cody, I don't think he can hold it right now. Thanks, Cody. Oof! You felt your hand slip as you nearly dropped the bowl, but thankfully Cody held it in place for you. Well, told you. Huh. I still got it, Max. It's fine. He put the bowl in the nightstand next to you for now. Max? Hmm? Cut him some slack, will ya? What? I'm just saying the obvious. He should have listened to me. Dude, seriously, it's not like he's trying to be defiant or anything. Why you gotta be such an ass? Excuse me, I was making a prediction which turns out to be correct. What makes you think... For the love of... Will you two stop arguing already? Need to remind you that we all still got a job to do. I know, as much as I'd like to be here to supervise Cassian's health and well-being, I do have places to be. And I'm certain you all do as well. So I suggest you both quit this pointless scuffle, pointing fingers at each other, right? Putting fingers at each other, eh, fingers at each other, right, is the least conducive thing to our efforts. Uh, if anything, the blame should have fallen onto Cody. Huh? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, in hindsight, if you didn't raise that stone column, the orb wouldn't have exploded and Cassian here wouldn't have been knocked out cold at all. Hey, and whose idea was it to do that experiment in enclosed space, huh? Whoa, easy there, big guy. None of us are blaming you for what happened. Come on now, Al. If it weren't for that stone wall Cody raised, half of your lab and us would have been hit in the explosion. You're... You're right. I was merely making a conjecture. No offense intended, Cody. None taken, but you shouldn't wrongly accuse others like that either. It shouldn't take that much to be kind and considerate to each other. The others grew silent as Cody said that. I gotta love Cody, big lovable bear. One second, y'all. Coffee time. Hmm. I suppose I'll see myself out. 
Same. Now that Cassian's fine, we should get going. All right. I'll stay here to keep an eye on Cassian and make a report to Alaric about my findings yesterday. You mean our findings? Huh? Well, wait, uh, could I stay here instead? Well, I guess you could, but you still got your task to do, and on top of that, you'd need to report to Alaric instead. Can you do that? Well, I... I'll manage, but both the task and the report. I'm fine with speaking to Alaric, so don't worry. Hmm, I don't know, Cody. It's been a while since you last spoke to him, and not to mention the last time you did it was about try you trying to resign from the guild. Come on, man. Trust Cody on this one. He's got this. Maybe. I trust him with tending to Cassian. What if something happened to him instead while I can't, while Cody's occupied with work? You know he's not the best at multitasking. I wouldn't worry about that, Max. He's a hefty guy with quite the reputation. I doubt anybody would be would be stupid enough to mess with him or anyone or any, anyone he's with while he's out and about. Yeah, he ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but he but I can vouch for him being the most reliable guy to have around. And his skull crusher years are no joke. You mean bone shatterer? But I suppose it doesn't matter. There were probably a few aliases he went by back then. What? Get, what you guys know about that? Well, it's kind of sort of an open secret at this point, Cody. That small mask you wore doesn't really hide much since you were mostly in your shorts anyways. But, but since when? Quite a long time, I believe. Quite a long time, I believe. People in the Academy wouldn't shut up about your appear appearance in that wrestling event. Ooh, that one. My exes, love, my exes loved watching those with me. We even practiced quite a few of your moves while we were at it, were at, while we were at it in private. TMI, Rye! TMI! <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Skull Crusher? Bone Shatterer? What's all I got to do with Cody? It's just a nickname he went by, Max. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess it's somewhat relieving that you guys already know about all that. <clears throat> yeah, and it's fine, man. Whatever you did back then, don't reflect who you are now. I concur. I'm no glutton, but I'd take your cooking over a violent fisticuff match any day. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Back to Max's concerns. Excuse me. I agreed with Rye that they'll be fine. Cody should be able to keep Cassian safe. Not to mention that he's not to mention that he's been training Cassian how to fight as well. And besides, didn't you say he's supposed to be the hero, Max? If that's the case, then you can't babysit him all the time. All right, all right. I get it. You guys made your point. Don't have to gang up on me like that, you know. You may stay with him, Cody. This will also give me time to look around the districts more. We should get going now. Remember your assigned task, people. That'll be all. Good hunting. Take care, Cassian. Cody. Catch you guys later. Ah, oh, almost forgot. Cassian, if you'd like to use magic, try to remember what I taught you yesterday. Uh, okay. And so the three quietly left the room. Soon enough, it was just you and Cody there. I'm glad that it's over with. How are you holding up, Cassian? Still a bit lightheaded, but I think I'm okay. Ah, the soup. Cody grabbed the soup bowl from the nightstand. Can you eat on your own? I can spoon it for you if you want. Yeah, th th that'd be nice. Pretty embarrassing, though. Good thing everybody's already left. Thanks, Cody. Don't mention it. Here. Cody started feeding you the soup. One spoon after another. Mmm, this is delicious! You sure this is a medicinal soup? Heh, <laughs> you like it? Of course, it's so good, your cooking never disappoints, really. You flatter me so much, Cassian. <laughs> nah. But for real, though, how do you do it? Oh, it's quite simple, really. You just crush the medicinal herbs, mix them in with the seasonings, and some diced poultry meat. You make it sound so easy, but surely there must be more to it than that, right? I guess so. It's just the first steps I think of while making soups and stews, so call it experience, if you will. No kidding, I've seen you at work. Quite a lot of experience you got under your belt. Thanks, but my first attempt didn't turn out so well. Huh? What happened? I still don't know if I picked the wrong ingredients or didn't process them properly, but the first soup I made could poison you. It'd have killed Rye if it had not been for his tough dragon stomach. Ooh. Oh, back then, huh? Indeed. Back when we were still together. Uh, you mean together as in... We traveled together as mercs, yes. Ah, I thought you meant together as a couple. Well, that too. Really? Huh, is that surprising? Actually, not really. I kind of, I can kind of see you guys being together. But still, if it's okay to ask, what happened? Huh? Well, what happened? Huh. I don't think anything happened, Cassian. It just kind of came and went, I guess. One day we were still together, then after that day, we just slowly drifted apart. I'm sorry, Cody. 
No, it's fine, Cassie. Maybe I was too busy most of the time to chat with him, but we didn't talk recently, so I think that's okay. Right. So, what happened yesterday? I'm still kind of hazy on what happened after that test Alex wanted to do. Hmm. After I raised the pillar to block your magic orb thing, it exploded and you were knocked back against the wall. <sighs> Must be how I got knocked out. And what about you guys? I raised another shield for us. That blast wasn't too powerful, but it did crack the shield a little, so you should be careful when you raise it again, Cassian. Yeah, I probably should. Sorry. No, no, you're, you're fine. I should be the one to say sorry. Huh? Why? I don't know. I probably should have done, done something else or done something better. Some of Alex's stuff was lost in the explosion, and you were injured. Maybe if I had raised the shield for all of us... Cody stopped himself mid-sentence with an exasperated sigh. Don't be so hard on yourself, Cody. I, I don't think putting a shield up for us would have been better. The lab, the lab would be safe, but all of us would be caught in the blast. You're right. I, I guess there isn't much else I could do at the time. But Alex is smart. Maybe, uh, maybe he'd have thought of something. Maybe, but I don't think he could act fast enough while we were panicking. Really, Cody, you've done the best you could back there. Huh, I guess so. So, after that, we took some time to let the dust settle. You know, before taking you to Alex's test tube thing so he could mend your wounds. It was, uh, worrying. Your heartbeat was really slow and you barely breathed. Alex also kept muttering about some complicated readings or something at the time. Max and Ryan were also impatient about the whole thing. I still don't really understand. But after a while, Alex said he made sure you were okay. Then he released you, and we took you back here to rest. I think I said I could take you here alone so the others could be on their ways, but... He insisted that everybody went along, so here we are. Huh. That's quite thoughtful of him. He is. It's just the things he blurred out that makes people want to avoid him. You could treat his lab assistant better, and he said something to, He said something about you not, about not letting you die until he's done enough tests on you, didn't he? Yeah, that's him, all right. Yeah. Well, just a few more spoons to go. Finish up so you can take these medicine. Uh, okay. You finish up the soup. Then after resting for a bit, Cody brought you some water to drink along with the medicines he mentioned. Thanks, Cody. Blech! He says nasty. Can we go back to the soup? Yeah, sorry, Cassie, but not everything good can be made tasty. I can't really mix seasonings with dry medicine, and cooking them would just kill off the medicinal parts of the herbs. That's too bad. I guess I can't be helped. Well, try to rest for now, Cassian. I'll be around. All right. Thanks again, Cody. You're welcome. Let me, uh... Let me drink a little water, y'all. Hmm. Oh, no, my water ran out. Okay. All right, it should be enough for, for now. I decided to lie down and take a nap for now. He woke after a few hours, feeling a bit better than before. Cody was at the pantry preparing something. He must have brought some ingredients and equipment from the tavern kitchen to be able to cook here. He watched him for a moment before getting out of bed. Ah, oh, you're up. Here, I made some snacks. We can add this before leaving. Thanks. But I should probably freshen up before eating. Sure, take your time. He headed to the bathroom to take a shower before returning to eat the snack The snack Cody prepared. Some sort of toasted flatbread with a stuffing of what tasted like minced meat, tomato, and lettuce. It almost reminded you of either tacos or kebab rolls you've had before. And, but instead tied neatly into a bite-sized dumpling, almost. Well, did you like it, Cassian? It's amazing, as always. Really nice way to start off the start the day off. Thanks. Well, should we go now? Sure, let's. After heading to the lobby, Cody led you to the elevator, which took you, which you took last time to get to the Sky Garden. Huh, so this leads to Alaric's office? I think so. I vaguely remember that it's below, it's below the garden. Huh, I wonder what sort of place it's going to be. Me too. You weren't sure what you were expecting, but the place felt really identical to those administrative buildings you've been to before. The floor was essentially a big a big corridor divided into three into different wings, each with their own rooms lined with waiting chairs outside. You could see a lot of people sitting as they waited. Some appeared more impatient than the others. There's a lot of people waiting here. Yeah, a lot of people have suffered from the aftermath of the attack. People got their house ransacked, their belongings stolen. That's awful. It is. I think Arvin came here the other day asking for help too. Poor man had to wait for had to wait for hours to get proper compensation for the goods that got robbed during the panic. How could people do such things? I guess they're desperate. If I suddenly lose the tavern and have no place to stay or no way to take care of myself, I would eventually think of stealing too. Would you though? You seem too nice of a person to be stealing, Cody. 
And who's to say some people are bad enough to take advantage of the situation, too? You're right. I just tend to see the good in people. They must have their own reasons for doing this. Even then, that's not a good excuse for what they did. And all these people sitting around, should we help them? How do we help them? Hmm, I don't think we can do anything for them right now. Max probably would have done something. Huh, I would, have, I would hand out free rations at the tavern for those in need, but I don't think people are starving just yet. I guess they're more worried about their money and belongings right now. Well, either way, we just have to do our thing for now. Let the other mercs handle these people's business. Sounds good. After a moment, you ended up at a large at a large door with a sign on the side that read Galantir Guildmaster Sir Alaric. Oh. Come in! Oh. Come in. You can see the Guildmaster on the far side of the room, who proved to be quite quite proved to be quite a broad figure as he stood up from his desk. Good afternoon, sir. Dimitri. Why? How long has it been since we last spoke? Alaric welcomed Cody into quite a hug. The bear seemed reluctant at first, but he still complied with a smile. Well, how have you been? I'm holding up just fine, sir. And what of your wound? Held up quite nicely, but I'm afraid the scars are too hard to stay. Would you like me to find someone who can remove it? No, that won't be needed, sir. Oh, or are you certain? Yeah, maybe I prefer it this way. It serves as a good reminder of what I've done and been, been through. I see. Very well, then. Ah, where are my manners? Come in, come in. Oh, and who might you be? Ah, uh, I'm Cassian, sir. It's an honor to meet you. Ah, one of our newest recruits. Please. There's no need for formalities. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Heroes Advent is back, baby! Anyway, y'all, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!